What's going on, Legion of Zen? We're back. We're doing more Hidden Fates. That's right. We are still searching for Charizard. It is unbelievable. Haven't pulled it yet, but we're going to try. We're going to try to get into it right in this video. We are going to pull that Charizard, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, and hopefully we're going to do it out of these two tins right here, the Gyarados and Raichu. And... Uh, I'm not even gonna waste any time. We're gonna rip right into these. I did not bring my uh, cutting tool. So we are just going to uh, power through this opening right here, rip the cellophane off that one. I'm gonna go ahead and just rip into this one as well. All right. And we're going to take the tops off of the tins. Maybe, maybe we're gonna take the tops off of the tins. There it is. All right, we got the tops off of the tins. <laughs> Don't break anything, but uh, yeah, here we go. We are a good to go. We're gonna move off the uh, Gyarados to the side here. We're going to go ahead and pull out Raichu and uh, give you guys that uh, that code right there. Put that off to the side. That is trash. We don't need that trash. And uh, the tins, go ahead and just put the tin right down there. But this is what we've got. We have a pack of each art, which is pretty awesome. And uh, and then we have the Garros tin over here. We're gonna get into that in just a minute, but uh, we'll put these packs over here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can pull that shiny Charizard that, uh, that I just haven't been able to pull. But I do have high hopes. Uh, I was able to procure uh, quite a bit of uh, tins, so we do have the chance here at pulling. We got a Greninja GX to start things off with first pack magic. Uh, so not the Charizard, but hey, I will take a Greninja GX any day of the week. There's Misty who is extremely determined and a code for you. All right, we, we have got sleeves. So we're going to uh, make sure that we've sleeved up this uh, Greninja to start things off. Uh, let's take a look real quick because a lot of my uh, shiny cards are a bit off center. And this one looks like it's a tiny bit off center from the top and bottoms, but uh, for the most part, it looks pretty good. I think this might have a chance. I'll have to take a look at it a little bit closer uh, later and uh, see if it's got a chance at, I don't know, Maybe a PSA 10. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. I want to thank uh, all of you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, we open up Pokemon TCG. We open up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And we also open up Dragon Ball Super from time to time. Uh, today we are doing the Pokemon stuff. But uh, generally on Mondays and Wednesdays I do Pokemon. And Fridays I either do Yu-Gi-Oh! or Dragon Ball Super. But... That schedule is is not, you know, oh, there we go. We have another hit. We got a uh, Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno. That's just the ultra rare though, but it is the birds. It is a pull. And uh, so we are, I guess, two for two now at this point in, in the packs. And there's a Koga's Trap and a Code. So, uh, so yeah, if you are interested in Pokemon TCG, if you're interested in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Super, any of those, then, uh, you know, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Also, press the bell notification uh, icon so that you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. There's a Charmander, a Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Clefairy, Blaine's Last Stand, Farfetch'd, Brock's, and a Giovanni's Exile. Here we go, we have a Mew Pack. And uh, you know, in the very beginning when I was opening these, the Mew Packs seem to have the better pulls. Now, uh, this, these tins are not from the first batch, they are uh, from the second uh, run. So, I don't know if there's a difference in the pull rates there, I think there is. There's a shiny Deontay. So that was actually a really good tin, considering uh, we pulled two shinies and uh, and an ultra rare. So not too bad of a of a tin. 
not the shiny Charizard we're looking for, but you know what? We got some good pulls. So I will take that. We'll go ahead and sleeve up uh, this little Deontay right over here. And let me pull out some sleeves, have those at the ready. Boom, there it is. And we now have three pulls. Now let's go ahead and get into this Gyarados tin. Uh, there's a code for uh, for you guys. Boy, that Gyarados is mangled. That is bent. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm just gonna pop them out right here. Uh, but uh, look at that. Oh, good job, Pokemon, with the grip of death. It's a good thing I've got a ton of these, but come on. Come on, Pokemon. Come on. All right. Enough complaining to the Pokemon people. Uh, ultimately, you know, they make a pretty good product. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's fun. It's fun to open. Um, so I do enjoy it. I will tell you what, though. Yu-Gi-Oh! quality is superior. You know, Konami does, uh, I think, an even better job with their cards than Pokemon does. Oh! What? Oh my gosh, I thought we had two Shinies. I thought we had some sort of an error pack, but we did get an Umbreon GX Shiny. That is awesome. Uh, I absolutely love this card. Check that out. But we did get a double hit in this pack because we got Mewtwo GX as well. So another really amazing pull here. Um, you know, this is just the ultra rare, but you know, not, not bad considering we got two pulls in one pack. So we did get that Umbreon GX. Super happy about that. Excited. Let's get Charizard now. Come on, Charizard. Can we do it? Can we pull the almighty elusive Zard? All right, here we go. We got... A Jigglypuff, an Ekans, a Geodude, a Kibone, Metapod, there's no Charizard there. We did get a, another Blaine's Last Stand, another Metapod, Charmeleon, big shout out to my buddy, Polish Rob, Rob Mob, and then the Magmar there at the very end. I think I uh, covered one of the letters. So big shout out to, uh, to him. Big shout out to my other buddies as well. Uh, I've got quite a few of them, but uh, I'm going to shout out uh, Grumpy Charizard, uh, who is, uh, you know, congratulations, just bought a, a house and stuff and um, got married, you know, all that good stuff, all the family life stuff going on there. So congratulations to him. And uh, also a big shout out to Sudan, uh, Sudan Segment, who uh, I just sent a package to. Uh, so, I hopefully at some point you guys will see what I sent him. Uh, it was just a little thing I decided to send a buddy. And uh, another one is Epic Tube HD. Uh, we do have something lined up for Yu-Gi-Oh! Epic Tube HD and I. Uh, we um, we basically sent our, each other mystery boxes, and uh, which we put together ourselves, set a value, and decided to ship them out. So we we each already received. The, the package from the other person and uh, so at some point soon we will be doing the mystery box opening there there's an Eevee no Charizard but there is a hollow Zapdos there and that is not cool not cool but that's all right because we did get the pulls uh, I am not upset right now uh, Umbreon GX Greninja GX I think at this point you know any of these are are pretty valuable and, uh, and quite frankly uh, they're just they're fun to open hidden face is such a good set uh, I I did kind of sleep on it in the very beginning I thought it was going to be just a waste I thought it was not going to take off I was very wrong and uh, but you know uh, just maybe that's why I haven't pulled the Zard because I didn't have faith in it in the very beginning. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, we are opening it. I got a bunch of tins. I'm going to continue to open Hidden Fates. And in fact, uh, Wednesday's video will be another Hidden Fates opening. I'm going to open up another two tins in that video. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out this video right over here.